Good morning, fellow mathematicians. My name is Philemma the Maths now, <laughs> and we are going to take a look at Laplace transforms once again. And we are going to show today that the Laplace operator, the Laplace transform, is indeed a linear operation, a linear operator. So what does linear mean? So there are two conditions for something to be linear. So at first, the function in terms of a plus b can be written as the function in terms of a plus the function in terms of b. And also, a function in terms of some constant lambda times a equals to lambda times the function in terms of a. So that's our condition for the linearity. But we can combine those two, um, those two properties. And we can also say that this whole thing is equivalent to f of lambda a plus lambda b. You can also use a different constant right here, for example, gamma or whatever you wish. And this is equal to f of lambda times a plus b. And now we can bring this lambda to the outside. So that's lambda times f of a plus b. And now we are going to use this property here. So in the end, that's lambda times f of a plus f of b. And now you can distribute this lambda if you like. But if this holds, that would mean that our operator is indeed linear. We are just going to say there are now two time-dependent functions, g and f. Okay, and we are going to take a look at the Laplace transform of this. So the Laplace transform of g of t plus f of t. But we also want to take a look at the case when there's some constant lambda involved. So don't forget your lambda right here. And now we are just going to use the definition of the Laplace transform on this function inside. So what's the Laplace transform of this? So this is just the improper integral from 0 to infinity of parentheses lambda times g of t plus lambda times f of t <laughs> times e to the minus st times dt. That's nice. Now, we can factor out this lambda right here because it's a common factor of g of t and f of t. That's the next step. So that's the improper integral of lambda times g of t plus f of t times e to the minus st times dt. And here's the best thing about it. Showing the linearity of the Laplace transform is kind of trivial because we know that the integral is a linear operator and we are just working with an integral right here. So the Laplace transform is defined as an integral operation. So what we can do now, we can interchange this constant lambda and this integral operator. So this is now just lambda times the improper integral from zero to infinity of g of t plus f of t times e to the minus st times dt. And now we can distribute this e to the minus st onto g of t and f of t. This is equal to lambda times the improper integral of g of t times e to the minus st plus f of t times e to the minus st times dt. Okay. And because of the linearity of this integral, we can split this integral up into two integrals. So this whole thing is equal to lambda times the improper integral from zero to infinity of g of t times e to the minus st times dt plus the improper integral of f of t times e to the minus st times dt. <laughs> and then we are nearly done because Remember what we wanted to show in the beginning? We wanted to show that this and that is equal. So, you might notice that this right here is just the Laplace transform of g of t. And this right here is just the Laplace transform of f of t. And then we are done. So this expression is equal to lambda times the Laplace transform of g of t plus the Laplace transform of f of t. And that's it. Like I said, it's kind of trivial, but 
it's extremely important because we are using this all the time. And when I say all the time, I mean all the time. <laughs> we need this every time we are working with some kind of differential equation. So keep this important property in mind. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, leave some comments and recommend me if you like. And until the next video, have a flammable day. Goodbye.